Yeah. Yeah. I know why you clicked on this video. Yeah, I know you're curious. So am I. I have absolutely no clue what to do. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to have something a little bit crazy. We're going to flip the office intro. I have no clue. I haven't planned out what genre or, or what direction I'm going to go in. But this is more to teach you a lot about improvisation and, and how like just throwing pasta at the wall will stick. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Put on the notification bell. Do all of the above. Thank you guys for supporting me. And let's just get into it. Let's see what I can come up with. All right, so the first thing we need to do is search up a good recording. I got it into Ableton. Uh, I guess the biggest thing right now is what the hell are we gonna do with this? It's 168.1 BPM. Since when? I'm gonna line it up. There we go. Okay. All right, let's be honest, we're probably not gonna have to use this part. And on top of that, we're probably going to have to use this part. Maybe. That's not for sure right now. All right, we're definitely gonna loop that. Let's get some claps in there. Right there. Okay, so immediately we're going for trap. Let's just let's just see how this works out. Let's get some chords on this. Woo! Hold on, hold on. What? Doesn't make sense. Hold on. One eternity later. D and E? Woo! Okay. Oh, that makes sense. All right, thank you 88 Key Spencer on YouTube. That helped me out a lot. So we're gonna get some chords for this now that I know the actual chord themselves. Second time should be good. That's good, that's good, okay. I can use that. I'm gonna deactivate you. I'm gonna drag you down here, actually, because I don't need you yet. Actually, I won't be needing you, but I can base stuff off of you. It's always good to have chords because chords always help you find some theory into it. Let's record the melody. <laughs> I just did that without listening. Let's okay, let's let's just see what it sounds like. I'm a god oh no, the last notes. What? You know what's a great video idea? A music theory video idea. I can I can teach you guys some basic music theory pretty well. Let's, I'm gonna, yeah. Mm. 
Isn't there a higher out though? Oh. All right, we still got it though. We got it, we got it. Let's just, uh, let's just okay, and deactivate you. Let's just do it. Let's just see what it comes out like. I'm gonna move you guys over. That took a lot of my energy. Like, actually, that took a lot of my energy. All right, we can duplicate this, move it over. Here we go, the boom, 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 boom. I want a different sound for it, though. Uh, something plucky. I'm gonna get the BBC Symphony Orchestra, which is an extremely underrated plugin. If you take a survey on Spitfire Labs, you get an entire orchestra in two weeks for free. Like, this is unheard of. Let's, let's add a kick, let's add a kick. Let's see where this goes, all right? By the way, I'm using the Andromeda pack from Kyle Beats and it's bad fucking ass. You should get it too, just saying. Let's have fun with it, let's have fun with it. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna do what's called MIDI splicing. MIDI splicing is an awesome effect if you like chopped up melodies. Uh, slice the MIDI track, uh, press okay. Just wait a bit for it, awesome. So now, when I isolate this, I can play my piano. So as you can tell, it splits it up all chromatically. So what I mean by chromatically is every a uh, white and black key. I know you can't tell, but I'm pressing on the white and black keys. And they're all playing a certain clip, a certain splice of, of the sample. And I'm, I'm gonna do like one of those old school, like dee, 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 dee. You'll see what I mean. Hold on, just give me a second. All right, let's, let's, let's listen. We can do something like what Montana did or does. Alright, let, let's put let's put a, a booty to the floor type of beat. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, okay, we're definitely getting somewhere. I'm really happy where this is going. Um we need Substance. Let's get some bass into it. Let's get a compressor and we're gonna do sidechain. Let's add some morphine into the mix. The last thing we need is the bass. That's what I need right now. The bass is, is what's gonna get this kicking. Let's use the true synthetic bass. This is so bad. 
That's not what we're gonna use. We're gonna use like 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 that old trap synth. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This this let's just forget about that middle section. That's just part of the aesthetic. Uh, let's 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 do some other things here. I want like a real like like a real drum beat now. Let, let's let's record that in. Let me get some more samples. I don't even know. Let's let's just quantize this and let's make sense of it. That should be about right. And we can just do that and. Uh, for the bass, I definitely just want whole notes all the way. I don't want anything else. <laughs> I don't want to complicate myself with the bass. I know I said I wasn't going to complicate myself, but this is pretty fucking cool. You know what would be really cool? We should get a sample from the office and and put it into here. That way there's like a storyline as to why, like, you know, there's a vibe and piece of whatever. Let's search that up. Are you swallowing them whole? You're eating them so fast, are they even touching your tongue? Damn, man. <laughs> All right, we're back in Ableton. We're gonna use that sample. I downloaded it. It should be something. All right, let, let's let's just uh, turn off the warp. Put it in place. Are you swallowing them whole? You're eating them so fast, are they even touching your tongue? Yeah. Why aren't you having any, Angela? Oh. Right, we don't need any of this. I used to. Toby works here again. Oh, can you imagine? Right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's use that. Let's use that. I wanted to tell the story of Toby. And the best part about it. Okay, you'll you'll hear it at the end, but right now I'm just gonna put some effects on this. There's a lot of ambience, so I'm just gonna put some easy EQ to lower that a bit. Toby works here again. Oh, can you imagine? Oh no. Uh, you don't know. I don't know. What you should probably Ooh, what is this? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yo, Yo! All right. If you guys don't know, I'm a sound designer. I'm gonna use this real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's what I want. Chop this up just for fun's sake, and let's just see how this goes. No, God, come on! <laughs> Yo, God, come on! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, prepare yourselves, prepare yourselves for this. Oh, this is beautiful. This is what true music is about. Actually, use this. All right. All right, guys. I had no clue this was gonna turn out like this. Okay. This is kind of badass. Not gonna lie. All right. I really hope you guys enjoyed. 
As musicians and as, as producers, you gotta be very interpretative. You gotta be very subjective to everything that you're giving. This, this was more to teach you the process of just going at it and taking risks and just, just throwing yourself at things, you know? Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And please, stick around for the end. Thank you guys for watching. Katonic out. Let me go to the end.